Foka, are you the best good girl? What you say? You got boogers in your eyes. You got morning boogers. So Alan, can you tell us a little bit more about Untamed Strength? Yeah, <clears throat> it's located in Sacramento, California. Um, here at Untamed Strength, we got tires, stones, sandbags and kegs, benches, platforms, squat racks for days. Strength is the game, Untamed is the name. You're looking for the owner, he's the dude with the mane. You got treadmills and TVs, I got heavy circus DBs. You got rollers of foam, I got metal, sand and stone. You can find us on Google, racking up five stars. These words that you're hearing, untamed bars. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about barbells here at Untamed Strength. Bars and specialty bars. There are nine or 10 barbells here. No, there's actually 40 bars here at Untamed Strength. If you count the trap bar as a barbell or as a specialty bar, there are 40. That trap bar, 39. So I'll talk a little bit about just the standard barbells. This is gonna be the most popular bar here at Untamed Strength, the Ohio Power Bar. And we have uh, the most amount of Ohio Power Bars of any other brand. Um, we've got a lot of different types of bars. Uh, a couple squat bars, Texas squat bar, a couple uh, deadlift bars, the Texas deadlift bar, the Rogue deadlift bar. We've got a whole bunch of like hybrid type bars, which can be used for uh, power lifting or weight lifting or just general lifting. Um, it's got a, some, a finer neural, no center neuraling. Um, I guess, I mean, it might take a while, but I'll just kind of read off some of the, this is just the Rogue 20 kilo bar. Uh, this is the Rogue Ohio bar, not the Ohio power bar. We've got uh, Boneyard bars, uh, Rogue hybrid bar, the Chan Bar, Matt Chan Bar. We've got Penlay Olympic weightlifting bars right over here. We've got the 20 kilo Ohio Power Bar competition. Um, it's got a lock on it, just to let people know that you shouldn't do stupid things with this bar. It's a little more expensive than the others. Competition plates only, competition lifts only. Uh, this is the only bar really with a rule. Um, this is another Ohio Power Bar. This is the, the uh, BNR bar, BNR 1.0. And I would say that's probably the best bar for just a, a garage gym owner because the knurling's a little bit finer. Some people don't like this super aggressive knurling on Ohio Power Bar. It has center knurling for squats, um, but the, the knurling's fine enough that you can still front squat or even power clean with that bar. So it's a good all around bar. Um, one thing I'm not uh, crazy about with that BNR bar and with some of the other bars is the bare steel um, rusts pretty quickly. So this, this gym is not climate controlled. Uh, it's been raining quite a bit, so some of the bare steel bars are really rusted and I have to clean them off and keep them well oiled. Uh, let's go over here to some of the power lifting bars. This is the, 
This is one of my favorite bars, the Texas Power Bar. And I call this the deadlift bar of powerlifting bars because it's a little bit smaller in diameter than uh, other powerlifting bars, so it's nice to deadlift with. But it's still a stiff bar. The Texas Power Bar was the power bar before the Ohio Power Bar. Um, we've got uh, some of the Rogue with the, the Cerakote on it, the, the I guess, gunmetal type look. Um, that's supposed to last much longer than the paint. Like some of these bars were all black painted, but you can see that the paint's worn off. Um, this is not supposed to wear down and it's not supposed to rust, but this is Ohio Power Bar with the Cerakote paint. Um, here's another one back here. And then we have, this is like the, yeah, West Side Power Bar 2.0. I don't know the difference between this bar and an Ohio Power Bar. The knurling, there's very small differences, like the design of the knurling or the aggressiveness of the knurling, but same specs as the Ohio Power Bar. What bar should I bench with today? So this is the this is the Beast Metals football bar that we have. Neutral grip, straight across like most football bars. But today, we use this Elite FTS American Caner bar. On the Elite FTS bench. Now so that's this, extra. This is a football bar for the camber, so you can get down even lower when you bench because the camber goes around your chest. And it also has the slanted grip, uh, so when you're benching, it's not quite neutral, like such, and it's not quite here like a bar. Let's try it in the middle here. Uh, some of the guys like this because it's pretty close to a, pressing a log uh, in Strongman. And I've already uh, seen two people since we had this who said they like using this bar because they haven't been benching lately. Shoulders been bothering them, so, but they, they're able to bench heavy uh, and for a good amount of volume with this bar. Fishing. So this is not a barbell, but I want to show you these. Thompson Fat Bell. It is a dumbbell, uh, kettlebell hybrid type thing. And it's great for kettlebell swings, like a swing and a press, because your hands with inside of it. Uh, so you don't have to worry about when you do a kettlebell swing, you know, the kettlebell slamming back down there, when you're doing uh, an overhead squat or, or something like that, you don't have to worry about the kettlebell moving around because your hand's within this fat bell. 
again, not a barbell, but a cool piece of equipment I'll show you guys. I'm gonna use it uh, to finish up my workout today. When you're doing bench press or overhead press, the fat bell allows for a little bit greater range of motion because you don't have the big sides of the dumbbells hitting your chest or your shoulder. You're able to go down a little bit lower and you can actually feel the difference. These words are really speaking to me today. You can really relate to these lyrics. It's so true. You hear that? So today I am benching with the duffalo bar that you just saw. Now years ago a guy named Christian Buffin invented the buffalo bar. It was this cambered bar. Uh, and recently his evil stepbrother Chris Duffin actually invented or reinvented the buffalo bar and named it the duffalo bar. So the reason that this bar, uh, its purpose or utility in the gym is a lot of people find that it <clears throat> if they experience some shoulder strain or pain uh, with a normal barbell when they're squatting, when they're low bar back squatting, this bar alleviates some of that uh, stress or that pain because you're grabbing the bar, you're not grabbing it here, the camber drops and so you have to grab it, you can grab it much lower. Kind of like a cambered bar, but it's not quite as cambered as a normal right angle cambered bar. Uh, this is a little more specific to a natural barbell. Tomorrow, I'm gonna to squat with all three of these specialty bars. Safety squat bar, the camber bar, and the spider bar, or the safety squat camber bar. So you can actually see what it looks like in real time. Also, I have an announcement tomorrow. Uh, it's more of a gym announcement, but stay tuned for that. And I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna use the one barbell that I never thought I would buy for the gym. What barbell is it? Stay tuned for part two. Until then, always remember, train on time.